Hello everybody, I would like to introduce you now to the next version of the speech trainer. It is uh, the speech trainer version 4.0.1. And what is new in this version? So, first of all, you see we now have more vowels in the list. So, the uh, we have more rows. So we have the U and the I and some other vowels here. We have some other vowels here. We have the schwa sound here as well. And we have more columns, the front, round, unrounded, and which is new are the central, some central vowels. The American R colored vowel is still missing. The German R colored is there. And of course, there are missing vowels for other languages as well. Uh, and we have the back rounded and unrounded. Again, this vowel as well as this consonant list has nothing to do with languages directly that are just phonetic symbols with the phonetic sound brackets and uh, we will come up with language specific things later in this app. Um, yeah, for example, what's new uh, uh, as well. For example, let's take the consonant D and uh, go to the move um, submenu. So now you see we have a start button so that we can see a, a kind of movie for this adder. But we have the same as before, we can move the slider uh, in both directions so that we can see each point in the gesture score. But the very new thing in this 4.1 um, version of Speech Articulation Trainer is a new sub-menu called Syllable. If we go in here, we see the standard syllable given here is the R. Currently, we have only implemented one syllable for diphthongs, for two initial vowels, and this is not working currently, two uh, syllable final vowels. We will implement uh, more initial consonants, we will implement the final consonants as well, and we will implement more syllables in order to be able uh, to generate something like pataka, badaga, and so on, uh, and normal two-syllabic two and three-syllabic words in different languages. But currently we can do something already on the syllable level. So, uh, in the default case, I have just an R. I see this articulation. If I want to introduce more, I now can introduce diphthongs. Click on the second vowel, I will give in an I. So I have the diphthong I. Can see that? I as well can use this, uh, uh, this animation button. And I can introduce initial consonants, perhaps a so I get the syllable shy. And we will see the gesture score with the temporal coordination of all the specific gestures, the, the vocalic gestures, the consonantal oral gestures, the velum gestures, the glottal opening and closing gestures, all these things become more and more complex. I will do an extra video on the relation between sounds and gestures and of, of, concerning the timing of gestures and concerning the organize, organization of a complete gestural score. I will give that in a, in a different video. So what can we do? We can uh, make it more complex uh, still. We have shy. We can do, uh, give a second initial uh, consonant here so that we have a CCVV syllable. We can introduce here a N, for example. So we get Schnei, 
like yeah in, in german that would be a syllable like in snowing schnei so you can see it here schnei uh, one more remark the uh, syllable scores are not always perfect it is not language specific so at least i'm planning to add a button here which is called language and we will really um, show a language specific gesture scores for different words within different languages but currently this is just a coarse grained way of organizing gestures in syllables and normally yeah we have to adjust to to find uh, to make a fine adjustments for the timing of all these gestures in order to become really language specific but we are working on that so what can we do in addition going to the syllable level um so if i want to go back to shy and uh, to omit the n I can go to this sound, to this N, and go to the undo button. We now have an undo button on the vowel and consonant level. So I have now shy again. And I can change it, for example, to phi by changing the first consonant from sh to f. I now have phi and now I can add per, for example a third vowel a German R colored uh, schwa and so we get the syllable fire which means party which is a complex word so in this case the syllable final vowel is a, a vocalized R Yes, so and, and we can do a lot of more things. Of course, if I would like to delete a, a, um, um, vowels, I can do that as well. Go back to the syllable level, go to this position and go to the undo button here. So I have an undo button for consonants as well as for syllables. Uh, and get phi again. Currently, in this very, very first 4.1.0 version, if you click on this and introduce consonants here, like, uh, let's say I give an N here for fine. This doesn't work in the moment, so I have to implement that still. So you get, get just phi, and here where the N should, should start, you get nothing. Okay, there, and I'm sure even in the syllable initial consonant cluster, you are not allowed to prompt each combination of sounds. For example, a F followed by a glottal stop is not occurring in uh, um, the languages I'm familiar with. And so currently I have forbidden these sound combinations, but I'm... Uh, quite sure there are a lot of sound combinations can be done here uh, which are not forbidden by the program but which it does not make any sense uh, from the viewpoint of the resulting gestural score so please mail me if you see uh, consonant or vowel combinations or syllable uh, uh, combinations which uh, do not work and i will do my best to implement them for uh, yeah for making the program better and please keep in mind this all has nothing to do with real language specific realizations of sounds so it is a little bit corn corn uh, coarse grained and uh, but uh, but we will overcome that problem as well and we will implement in further versions here a button for languages and then give a list of syllables typical syllables and typical words in specific languages so i now have to do my best uh, to further uh, develop this program and i will be back in a few weeks with a version 4.1.1 Thank you so far for your attention.